Oh yeah, but not only is Jim Florentine back on the podcast, soon coming back ACDC. Uh, I personally thought that uh, Shot in the Dark was their best new song in well over a decade. Uh, what's your take on the new song? What's your expectations for the new album and hopeful uh, touring? Um, <clears throat> you know, the song's pretty good, not great. But, you know, they're, they're ACDC at this point. I don't, and the album will be okay, but it's nice that Phil Rudd's back in the band, Cliff Williams, Brian Johnson, you know, and then Stevie Young on, on rhythm guitar. So that's good. You got most of the, you know, the original lineup, whatever they get, whatever's left of it. So that's good. I mean, the album will be, will be on a scale of one to 10, will probably be a six and a half, maybe a seven, but that's fine. And, you know, they'll do two new songs or three new songs if they tour again, and then the rest will be old shit. So I'm good with that. Yeah, I love the fact that they made a music video, and it's the first one they've made since 2014. And in those six years, the best idea they came up with was the band plays in a dark room. And it's almost got to the point where we don't need new ACDC. We just need them coming out and uh, donating a large share of those profits to those frontline workers. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, well, like, you know, ACDC has always been a simple band, you know, jeans and T-shirts. So kind of, so they're, they're not going to be, it's not going to be some elaborate setup with a video. It's going to be them in a warehouse just playing. That could be shot on an iPhone for five grand. Yeah, it's, it's really got, though, to the stage where like, Angus Young, he can still play the guitar, but he looks like he's five million. Uh, yeah, he, those, uh, those Aussies don't don't age well, you know. Yeah, it's like he, when you smoke a ton of cigarettes. Yeah, like he actually uh, speaks in grunts now, where you see him being interviewed, like, well, you know, yeah, the new album, eh, uh, uh, and it's like, huh? Yeah, like, how, how can some strong, independent woman know what he's trying to say? <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> but, you know, look, ACDC gets a pass because they're fucking ACDC. But with th this whole shit about the COVID fucking crap, uh, do you think, though, that um, when they come back on tour, because it really seems like a lot of bands are announcing tours for next year, like Guns N' Roses, that shitty sounding Motley Crue stadium thing, like it's all still happening. Uh, do you think that ACDC waiting until two thousand? 22 is probably a, a step too far. Yeah, I don't see these stadium shows happening next summer. Because <clears throat> to get, you know, 60,000 people sitting right on top of each other in a stadium, even in the summer, by the summertime, I still don't think that's happening. I think you could do, you know, uh, 20,000 seat arenas and maybe put 7,000 in there and spread them out, charge a higher ticket. I think that you might be able to pull off that outdoor shows and shit like that but i don't see that shit coming back they could reschedule all they want but they're not going to know what's going to happen people are still going to be afraid come you know the summer whether there's a vaccine or not or other other shit they're, they're not going to want to sit on top of each other so yeah and we might never tour again brian johnson's 72 or 73 years old so i don't know if they're ever going to do shows again they the problem uh that i have is that if uh the one good thing about once concerts start up again, if people wear masks, uh, everybody's going to start wearing masks, cause, uh, white masks, because if not, you're going to see the powder signs. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe, yeah, maybe if the, the you know if everyone has – I don't know. For some reason, at the, the protests, everyone's right next to each other. There's not a problem with that. Nobody bitches about that. So when well, you can have, you know, 50,000 people, you know, right on top of each other walking down the street and, you know – Nobody says anything bad about that because the coronavirus doesn't hit the protest. It's weird. It just makes a quick right when it sees a protest. Yeah, but that's the thing. Over here, there's a, there's a rule that was put out. You can't be, you can't have people in your house. Uh, all the bars and restaurants are shut down. You can't walk around in groups unless it's a Black Lives Matters protest. And then in that case, you can go out in groups of 100. So, we could all have the, the New Year's Eve party, Jim Florentine's house, but as long as we say Black Lives Matter every 20 minutes, it's uh, A-OK. -okay. You, really, you guys can't have people in your house, like friends come over? No, we can't do shit 
until uh, November the 10th, then everything's going to be reviewed. And I'm so pissed off because I've accidentally gotten into really good shape because I can't go to the pub. So I'm not having like 14 fucking drinks every other day. So I've, I've exercised and dieted and it's fucking horrible. I've forgotten what it's like to have a painful shit. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, what's going to happen on November 10th what, or November or whatever it is that day? What, what's going to be different then? Uh, they're maybe going to lift restrictions, but they did that before. Right. And, and then as soon as people went back out, that's when it started spreading. So, you know, you're just going to, you're just delaying it. Yeah. But it's, 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 I, I just, I'm just glad that some people are dying. Not all, but some. Look, if you look at the numbers, you know, a, a 74 year old man that's overweight only has a 5.5% chance of dying from it. He's got a 94.5% chance of surviving a 74 year old man that's, that's fat. So, and then, and then under, <laughs> under 70 is a 99% chance. Have you uh, had any, have you had any COVID fears of having the virus? I mean, you know, a little bit, but I'm not, I know I could survive it. I'm not being reckless out there, but, uh, you know, you know, a little bit, but I'm, I'm not, I'm still living my life. Yeah. I mean, I, I lost a uh, sense of smell and taste and uh, I'm pissing blood and my chest really hurts and, uh, you know, everyone else around me is dead, but I'm just saying you're all a bunch of fucking snowflakes. <laughs> That's Did part you get of coronavirus. Has who? Did you get it? Of course not. Oh, okay. I just get no. I just got all the symptoms, but that's not right. Fun, you know, a bunch of fucking uh, wimps. Oh, well, I should add it, but you know. <laughs>